18th capsule is to is about how to record overheads in your books of accounts friends recording materials labor direct expense is no big deal but students are confused about how to record this overheads that is why i made a capsule on this overheads is as you know in cost sheet there is factory overheads admin overheads and selling and distribution and for this three overheads how to record the transaction i have written the journal entry friends when you account for these overheads remember you have to pass two entries for each overheads one entry will be for the actual overheads incurred the second entry will be for the absorbed amount first let us learn how to you know record the actual overheads incurred let's say there is factory rent now when i pay factory rent what journal entry do i pass in financial account i pass the entry rent to cash bank but here we aren't making rent accounts we will debit factory overheads and we aren't making cash bank account we will make general ledger adjustment so entry for recording factory rent entry for recording any factory overheads would be factory overheads account debit to gla it will be factory overheads account debit to gla similarly if there is admin overheads admin salary salary to cash bank you know what what entry you will pass in cost it will be admin overheads account debit to gla for selling and distribution overheads let's say there is sales commission we pass the entry commission to cash bank here it will be selling and distribution overheads account debit to gla okay so this is the entry for recording the actual overheads incurred okay friends it is factory overheads to gla admin overheads to gla selling and distribution overheads to gla this entry are for the actual overheads incurred now once you record the actual overheads now is the time to record absorbed overheads friends absorbed overheads are to be calculated as per the absorption rate given in the question most of the time they'll give you that this are the absorbed amount so that's it you have used that amount and record the entry but if they don't give you absorbed amount you have to calculate it using the absorption rate and you can do that calculation because you know that overheads chapter how to calculate the absorbed amount but friends even if uh, what if they don't give you absorption rate they don't give you absorbed amount they don't give absorption rate then in that case you will assume that whatever is actual is absorbed right whatever actual amount is incurred is fully absorbed only if absorption rate is not given you will do this okay friends and then once you get the absorbed amount you will pass entry for absorbed what will be entry factory overheads in fact this production work done so the factory overheads are to be charged to production and for production we have the account wip ledger control account your factory overheads will be charged to wip ledger control account by passing this entry wip ledger control account debit to factory overheads okay admin overheads it may be related to production it may be general so that admin overheads which is related to production because it is related to production will be charged to production in wip account only so the entry will be wip ledger control account debit wip ledger control account debit to admin overheads and for general it will be cost of sales to admin overheads and your selling and distribution will also be charged to cost of sales to selling and distribution so the ones which are related to production will be charged to wip and the ones which are not related to production they are generally be charged to cost of sales and this is how we record the actual and absorbed amount okay i told you how to record actual how to record absorbed okay now after journalizing this actual and absorbed there can be difference in the two right one comes on debit other comes on credit actual comes on debit absorbed amount comes on credit and there can be difference in the two okay the difference between actual and absorbed is nothing but your under over absorption so friends after journalizing still accounts may show some balance and that will be under over absorption of overheads now what will you do with the difference so friends you have to close the books of accounts you have to do something for this treatment of under over absorption is to be done how you will do so friends if there is no difference in the account that means there is actually equal to absorb no difference in the account you simply close the account so under over absorption if no close the account but if there is difference then read the question thoroughly have they mentioned the treatment for under over absorption if the question says under over absorption are to be carried forward to the next year so what we do is by balance carry down to balance carry down we just carry forward it and close the account if the question says that under over absorption are to be transferred to costing penal account so we do that so basically if there is under over absorption and if the question mentions how to adjust it 
do what the question says so friends question mentions the method if yes do as per the instruction given in the question but what if friends there is under over absorption but the question does not say how to adjust it question does not say how to adjust it then friends you have to use your brains now that is the most difficult thing how to do it so friends in that case two things here friends check out in your factory over its account your admin over its account whatever account it is is there any opening balance opening balance means last year in factory over its you must have carried forward last year your admin over its you must have carried forward last year selling and distribution over its you must have carried forward there will be opening balance if the company has used carried forward method last year and if the company has done this in the last year same same thing will be done in this year so basically if there is opening balance in factory over its what you have to do is carry it forward carry forward the difference of this year as well so friends is there any opening balance in account if yes then what you will do is this year also you will carry forward this is called consistent last year company had used carry forward method that is why there is opening balance so that is why we are carry forwarding it this year but friends if there is under over absorption and there is no opening balance if no opening balance then friends you will transfer your under over absorption to costing pnl got it so this is how your under over absorption is to be so friends in this capsule i have taught you how to record the actual overheads absorbed overheads and the difference under over absorption how it is to be okay so this is about overheads in cost accounting six uh, cost accounting system capsule number 18